hello and welcome to the Arctic Circle here in Finland. Today I'm going to show you what I packed and what I wear for a trip up here in Northern Europe. So let's go back to my hotel room and I'll show you what I've brought with me. Okay, so here we are in my very messy hotel room and I'm about to get ready to go out for a walk in the Arctic here in Rovaniemi. So I'm going to show you what I packed for this trip. So let's start with the base layers. So I've sort of got everything up here on my bed. I will show you what I brought with me. So for the base layers, you're going to want to wear some type of wool. So these are either woolen leggings or woolen long sleeve shirts. I always recommend buying merino wool uh, because that is the warmest. So you can see here I've got some leggings that are made out of wool and eh, got it. <laughs> I have this uh, shirt. This is by a brand called Devolt. I think you can see it there. So it is a Norwegian brand and this is 100% merino wool. So I really recommend having something like this underneath because it keeps you very warm and very insulated. And you can buy these at our sporting shops here in Scandinavia, uh, like Intersport, which is everywhere, but also um, XXL sells stuff like this and Sport One also sells stuff like this. And they come in these little boxes, so they're easy to get. So I put on my base layers. Uh, this one is from Karitra. Um, I was kind of disappointed with this one because when I read the label, it's actually mostly made out of polyester and that is not the kind of stuff you want for the Arctic. But I still like them because they have pretty patterns. I think that's how they sell them though. Okay, so you put on your base layers. Let me go do that now. Okay, so I've got my base layers on. Now it's time to talk sweaters. I have different sweaters for different purposes. So this really comes down to the individual. Let's start with my thickest sweater, which is a hundred percent wool. This is actually a sweater I made myself, so it's really hard to tell you where to get this. Uh, but I love wearing these proper woolen sweaters, especially when I'm in temperatures below maybe negative five. So hundred percent wool, perfect for really cold weather. Otherwise with me, I also have fleece sweaters. Let me, this one's a bit messy. Let me undo it for you all. And I wear my fleece sweaters if it's a little cold. Um, maybe I'll also wear a lighter sweater underneath. It depends really on the temperature. This one's from Fjall Robin, which I love. So this is just a typical fleece. You can see the zipper goes part way down and it's super, super warm. And then if I'm in cities or if I know I'm gonna be going in and out, in and out from shops or restaurants or whatever, then I just wear uh, normal woolen sweaters. So you sort of have to bring different things for different purposes. And if I was going out to do Northern Lights, I would probably wear both of these at the same time and maybe another under layer underneath. But yeah, normally when I'm going out and about, it's the thermal layer and then some type of sweater, depending on my mood, the temperature, where I'm going, what I'm doing. Since I'm now heading out for a walk, I'm gonna wear my fleece one because I feel it's a little bit more practical. So let's put on the fleece sweater. All right, so now I've got my fleece sweater, let's talk pants. I do have different pants for different purposes. Again, you might be starting to notice I am a total overpacker when it comes to these trips because I never know what I want to bring with me. And also the weather is really unpredictable. Typically when I'm dressing here in the Arctic, I wear the same type of pants. And these are pants that are windproof, waterproof, and insulated. So you can again get these pants here, and I really recommend it because a lot of countries don't sell the proper waterproof pants that you need. And these ones are from Arcturix, but I also have pants from Bergens of Norway, from Huglofs, uh, Fjallraven, Halle Hansen. So I always choose Nordic brands. I know this is technically a Canadian brand. Uh, these are my lightweight ones. I do have heavier ones and I also actually have heavier uh, thumb pants, but I'm not wearing them now because it's too hot to wear them. They're often my Northern Lights pants. So I often put these right over my thermal pants and it's important that they're waterproof and windproof because even though it's snowing, 
it can sort of soak in after a few hours and also it can often be very windy and I just feel like they give you the best protection. Also if they're waterproof it often means they're not as breathable as other pants but that's also really good for insulation. So I'll put on my pants and then we will talk about extras and I'll show you some other little things as well. All right, let's talk accessories. We'll start with socks. Uh, I bring a few different types of socks with me. I bring normal thin socks that I would wear in any country. Then I have my woolen socks here. And these are 100% wool, of course. Well, actually, no, not these ones, sorry. Other ones that I have. These are Kari Tra ones, so they're, they're okay. I often use these for everything and I love them. So these are really thick. You can see they've sort of got a nice underlayer there and I often put these under my boots. Then I have these ones, which I do for Northern Light. These are the brand heat holders. I think you can see that there. And they've got like this incredible thick woolly underlayer that I love. And these are the comfiest socks ever. So I will wear these if it's really cold, like negative 10, negative 15 or if it's Northern Lights. For a walk, I'm just gonna wear my normal socks. Um, the thin ones that I have on already because my boots are lined and they get hot really quickly. I'll show you my shoes in a second. Then for beanies, I go with this brand here. It's called Rain Love. These are by far the best beanies I have ever owned. And this is a local brand from Tromso. When I go to Tromso in a few days, I'm hoping to buy a few more pairs because I wear this one everywhere and I can see like the thread starting to come off the logo. So I feel like it just goes with everything. Uh, if you want to see what the label looks like, Rain Love, that's their name. So I wear this all the time. And this is the thickest beanie I own. And then I try to also get my hair out, so make it a little bit nice. There we go. Then I have this. So this is my neck warmer. It is also 100% wool. Let me see. 100% merino wool. I don't know if you can read that. Probably not, but I promise. And this just goes over. I should have done this one before my beanie. So, I do not wear scarves. So, you'll notice in all my videos, I am never wearing a scarf because I find that they get too big and too bulky. So, I really like this because you can sort of do... This is what I do if it's northern lights or if it's windy. You can just really insulate and it is so, so warm. And I think it looks kind of good too. When I'm not using it, I actually wrap my camera in it. <laughs> so it comes in handy for that as well. So I think those are all my accessories. Let's talk shoes. These are my boots. They have my um, spikes on them at the moment. So let me take that off. There we are. So these are my shoes. There we are. And these are Helly Hansen. I just bought these about a week ago and I am in love with them. They're winter boots, uh, Winterstervler in Norwegian. And you can see they have a lining. So they have sort of this nice furry lining and then this goes all the way inside the boot. And these are super warm. So right now I'm gonna head out into the snow. There's a thin layer of snow in Rivenemi. I'm gonna wear thin socks and these and my feet will be warm. And then you can also see they have a really good grip. I've actually walked on ice yesterday and felt really sturdy in these shoes. So I love them. These are great winter boots. And then of course we have spikes. So these are spikes that I brought. I bought at a Norwegian store called XXL and how they work is you have to wrap them around this shoe. So this goes at the front of the shoe, this goes at the back of the shoe, and then this one actually has straps to wrap over the shoe. Let me show you. So this is the one that I've put on my boot already. So you can see how it sits, and this is to help protect me from the ice. And trust me, there is a huge difference. Uh, when I'm walking in just my shoes, I'm really watching where I walk. But with this, I feel totally confident to walk everywhere. So this is from a brand called Nordic Grip, and this can be bought at XXL in Norway and Finland. So I recommend buying them once you get here. So that's all for accessories. Now I'm gonna show you the added extras that I think you should get, and then I'll show you my camera gear. Okay, I realized when I was talking or getting everything ready for the next segment, I forgot to show you my gloves. So these are my gloves. These are really thick gloves. Uh, they're by Helly Hansen, of course, and they are leather. 
and these are so warm. I actually haven't even worn them yet because they're so warm. Uh, I don't really like using gloves, so I only put them on at the absolute last second. So these are my Helly Hansen leather gloves, and you can buy gloves in every sport shop or the major brands. Um, I've ordered some gloves, they haven't arrived yet, they're called Hestra, and these I've heard are the best for the Arctic climate. And the ones I've bought have are folded over, so they're not the different fingers, they're one. And then you can actually lift it up and expose the tops of your fingers if you want to use cameras or phones. So I've ordered those and they should be uh, at home when I get home uh, next week. So now let's move on to optionals. Firstly, we have these warmers. So these are little heat packs that you can put in. These ones are called toe warmers, so you put them in your socks. You can also get some to stick onto your back or some to put into your gloves. And they basically stay warm for six hours. And all you have to do is open the package and expose them, wait a few minutes and it works. And I love these for Northern Lights because I always find that my feet get cold standing in the snow. So I just put these in and they're amazing. And I have seen these at K supermarkets here in Finland, but you can also buy them at any sports store. So I recommend getting these. Each one of these were one euro, which is nothing. Lastly, I recommend getting a reflex. So this is something that I'll put around my jacket. And this is basically so people can see me because at this time of year, there's only four or five hours of daylight. And walking around at night, like I am about to do now, it is a lot safer to wear stuff like this. This costs like 10 euros from any sports store, and it's actually required by law. If you plan on walking in the countryside at night time, you must wear one of these or you'll get a fine. You can also get them as straps that go around the wrist, you can get them to go around the feet, to get them to hang off the bags. There's all these different purposes for them. But yeah, please get one of these. Now, lastly, let's talk camera gear. Oh no, actually, I did have some other things. Where did I put it? I was going to show you. Ah, it's up here. Skin cream. Because in winter, your skin gets really, really dry. So, I always recommend getting moisturizer. If you go to a, into a pharmacy here in Scandinavia, they often have a section for creams that are sort of really designed for this climate. Trust me, it dries you out. Like I just feel my skin getting so dry and also my lips. So always make sure you get a lip balm for dry lips. So really take care of your skin. Then lastly, cameras. If you're coming here in winter, you definitely want a good quality camera because for Northern Lights, while you can capture Northern Lights on any old camera, Professional cameras are what get those incredible shots. So this is my Fuji X-T5, which I bought about two, oh, about two, three weeks ago. And the lens I've got on it is a 16 to 80 millimeter lens. I have a separate wide angle lens for Northern Lights photography. And the reason I choose Fuji is because they have all of these dials up here, which can easily adjust your manual settings. And every single one here is something that's relevant for Northern Lights photography. So rather than going through the screen at nighttime when my hands are cold, I just switch all the dials up here and it works really well. So that's pretty much everything. Oh, of course, I have to show you my jacket. So let me get all rugged up again. I'll put on my shoes, I'll get organized, and then I'm gonna put on my jacket and show you my winter jacket. Okay, so I have two jackets that I've brought with me. The first is one from Bergens of Norway, and this is totally windproof, weatherproof, and insulated. It's a really nice pink jacket, but I have this bad boy here, which I bought particularly for the Arctic. This is by Fjallraven. You can see that little logo here. And it is totally made for the Arctic. And I've been wearing nothing but that. And then the fleece that I have on now, and I am warm. Like in negative 10 degrees, this jacket keeps me warm. So let me just put this one on. See, it's huge. It's about two sizes too big for me. But you can see, once I put it on, it just adds so much layers, so much warmth, and I am ready. The only difficult part is the double zipper. There we are. So this is then what I look like when I go outside. I know you can see my bathroom behind, which is not so glamorous. 
So this is my optic clear gear. Let me show you. You can see I've got my shoes on. I've got my boots, pants, my gigantic jacket. I think I'm ready to go out for a little walk. So I hope this was useful for people who are packing to come up here to the north and don't quite know what to bring. Uh, this is what I pack, uh, but I'm, a, I'm someone who lives here, so I'm kind of used to the cold. If this is your first time, I recommend really just getting a couple extra layers. But if you're in doubt, always just buy it here. You can get the tax free and you're buying stuff that's made for a Nordic climate, which just makes sense in my head. Anyway, time to go for a little walk. Thank you so much for watching.